going to be testing you for dysmetria. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this pen cap, and what I want you to do is just put the cap back on the pen right here at the tip. Alrighty, perfect. Now what I would like you to do is I want you to put your, no uh, your finger on your nose and bring it to the tip of my pen. Okay, one more time for me. Perfect, and one more time. Awesome, you did great. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to give you this pen cap, and what I'd like you, for you to do is just bring the pen cap and put it back on the pen for me. Alrighty. Now I'm going to have you take your finger to your nose and bring it to the tip of my pen. Okay, one more time. Okay, and one more time. Okay, so as defined earlier, dysmetria is a inability to judge the distance um, and you overshoot or undershoot the target of an object. So a functional activity for that would be feeding. If you have dysmetria, you are unable to get the food onto your fork or spoon and you have difficult time bringing it to your mouth because you overshoot or undershoot the target. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you flex your arms at 90 degrees, and I want you to flip your hands back and forth like this. Do it rapidly. Perfect. Great job. Okay, so I want you to tuck your elbows in at your side, and I want you to rapidly just flip your arms up and down like this. Alrighty. So a functional activity for dysdiatocokinesia um, would be screwing in a light bulb. So if a patient wants to screw in a light bulb normally, obviously they would uh, be able to pronate and supinate their arm like this. But if they were um, experiencing dysdiatocokinesia, they would just, if this is the light bulb, they would be like, just wouldn't work. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to put your arm at your side here. Uh, keep your eyes open. I'm going to put some resistance and I want you to lift your arm up against my hand. Okay, this time we're going to do the same thing again. I just want you to close your eyes. Beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want you to keep your eyes open. Um, I want you to put your arm at your side. I'm going to put some resistance on your uh, forearm and just lift up against my hand. Okay. Um, we're just going to do that one more time, but I want you to keep your eyes closed this time. Okay. That's that. <laughs> so, a functional activity for the rebound phenomenon would be um, opening the door. So, if Sarah <laughs> was experiencing um, difficulty in the rebound phenomenon, she would just, the door would slam her in the face. Um, this is because of her muscles' inability to regulate the opposing action. So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to keep your eyes open. Text message. <laughs> 